Hi everyone, Anjita this side. Welcome back to AV Automation Hub. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can test our application with a different network speed. For example, with fast 3G or slow 3G. So this can be done easily in K6 using the page methods. So there's a method which is throttle network using which you can limit the bandwidth or speed of a network connection in your test case. So I have this sample test case where I'm just opening google.com. So this is a browser test case in which I have passed options. I have passed executor as shared iteration and our browser type is Chrome. And then I'm just opening google.com. Now, if I want to simulate different network conditions, so how we can do that? Like I mentioned, you have to use the method which is page dot throttle network. So I'll just write over here page dot throttle network. So if you want to test for the commonly network profiles, what do you have to do? You have to import network profiles from this browser module. So just go over here and write network profiles. And in, inside the throttle network, you need to provide your network profiles. So there are three profiles available with this network profile. One is no throttling, which is the default before applying any network throttling. Second one is the fast 3G. Third one is the slow 3G. So let's run our first test case with the slow 3G network. So you need to pass over here like this slow 3G. And now this will emulate your slow 3G connection. Let's go to terminal and let's run this test case and let's see. So you need to run this command, which is k6 browser headless false, run your test case name. So we will run this in the UI mode and we'll see the application getting lost. Now let's run it. And with the slow 3G, you see how slow this is opening the web application. It is loading google.com with the slow 3G network. So it is actually emulating how your web application will perform with the slow 3G network. Fine, it is still not loaded, you see, it's still loading. And over here in the results summary, you can verify if there's any failures. So you see request failure is 0%. So there was no failure. What is the request duration? What is the minimum duration, average duration? And P90, P95, you can measure all this from the result summary. Now let's do one thing. So let's try to emulate how it will work when we have a fast 3G network connection. So let's rerun our test case. Now let's see. You see how fast it is loading. So we can actually emulate both the behavior, how it will work in the slow 3G network or how it will work in the fast 3G network, fine. And over here also, again in the network summary, if you see request failure is 0%. So what is the average request duration? Now it's 689 millisecond. However, the last time for the slow 3G network, it was different. So let's quickly see what was there in the slow 3G network. So you see over here, when we pass slow 3G network, the average was two seconds. However, with the fast 3G network, it is in milliseconds. Fine. So you can observe the difference over here also. How long it is taking to load your web application and if there's any failure on the page. So this metric is really important to observe the performance of your web application under the different network conditions. Now what we will do, we will open it in the different viewports. For example, we want to verify how our web application will behave in iPhone X or let's say if you want to test it on iPad mini. So for that, what we will do, we will set different viewports over here. So for that, we need to use page dot viewport size. So now inside the viewport size, let's set width and height. So let's take the example of iPhone XR for which the width is 414, height as 896. Fine. So this is the viewport size of iPhone XR. So what we will do, we are trying to test how our web application will behave in this viewport size and with the fast 3G network. So now let's go to terminal and let's run the test case. So we will be using the same command, which is K6 browser headless false, K6 run network throttle test. So now you see your web application is opening, it's getting opened in that viewport and over here we can see the result summary. So in this result summary, if you see the average is 690 milliseconds in this specific viewport size. But in the last one, if we see it was 681 milliseconds, but with this width and height, it is actually 690 milliseconds. So you can analyze the performance over here with different viewport sizes, with different network conditions. So what we will do, let's also try for slow 3G network. So I'll just pass over a slow 3G. And let's run it again and let's observe the start this time. So you see 
how long it is taking to open google.com you see it's still loading over here so sometimes what happens there is an issue on mobile when you have a bad network condition sometimes the website doesn't open sometimes the image doesn't load properly so this is equally important to test from the user perspective now this is also done you can see the request duration this is 2 seconds however the last one was 690 milliseconds you see so over here you can clearly see the difference and request failure is 0% sometimes what happens your website also gets crashed if you have a very poor network condition the application doesn't load properly this is all for today's video this is very important concept and from the especially from the performance perspective you need to test the different network conditions for example fast 3g slow 3g how your web application will behave you just need to import network profiles if you are going to work with this three provided network profiles which is slow 3g fast 3g and we have one more which is no throttling which is the default behavior so i hope you like the content and uh, do like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching